Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today we are playing Star Maid, and we're still working on my car cargo container container. And I put a button here, I didn't like having this flip-flop controlling stuff on this circuit other than this one input, so I just put a button, and it, and it controls this light, this knot, and this, uh, this button. Uh, not a button, that's not a button, that's an activation module. And, and it works just fine, I tested it. Except we have a, a different problem. Alright, I had it set up, so when I click this button, it released this circuit. Actually, when you click this button, it'll release this one, but you get the idea. Click this button, release this circuit, it'll come over here, hit this, and this button would trigger all these flip-flops. Uh, and so it would release these as well, except the problem was, if I had an empty slot, it would turn it from empty to taken. And leave it empty. So I needed need a way to uh, work out a better system for that. So we are going to again. We are. I am not worried about space or anything of that nature. So I am building out and wide and all that good stuff, so I can see what's going on. I'm also not worried about inefficiency, so I'm going to set a second button out here. So now when this one triggers, this one triggers, so I can see what's going on. I also have a separate line of. Uh, of uh, stuff. Let's see. I also use this technique to uh, hide your wiring. Alright. Let's see. Now this one's not going to be affected because it's going to be swapped anyway because this one's going to be moving into it. So I don't have to worry about rerouting the, the move down circuit for this one. This one, however, let's see. Mm -hmm. How am I going to do this? I want an AND here, I think. I want this button to be connected independently to each of these ANDs. So this AND isn't connected to this one, but this button controls all these ANDs. So if I press this, it shall trigger this, so see all those ANDs come up. But I also want a knot. I don't want that to be controlled. A knot there. I'm not there, and I'm not there. And the knot's also going to feed into the AND. And this flip-flop... No, 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 no. Uh, I don't want that. I want C, not V. This flip-flop is going to feed into this knot. I think that's the way this should be set up. So now... If I hit this button, and I have to reset everything because that's the way circuits do. There we go. And that should be... All right, they got thrown off somehow. So let it cycle through and do its thing. Come on, and I want to turn uh, okay, the inputs off, so these should cycle through. Not particularly well, because I'm, yeah, anyway. So, all right, now that I have these open, so you can see what's going on. I hit this button, and it should... Okay, those knots should not fire. And none of them do. Because, or these ands shouldn't fire, because this knot should be... Has to be active, so if I turn that, that one should fire and the other shouldn't. See? So now that means... I connect this AND to this flip-flop, this AND to this flip-flop, and this AND to this flip-flop. I'm going to let my containers bunch up over there for now, don't worry about it. And I trigger this. Oh, 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 stop that. Why are you... Oh, okay. That's not, not, not... So... I hit that, they should all turn green. 
Why haven't you turned green? Because I didn't finish hooking you up. Now only the red ones turn green, or the only the ones with something in them change. Uh, let me show you how this works now. Okay. Uh, let everything through, except it's all bunched up horribly. Uh, Alright. Oh good, I have docking, or er, stuff set to docking. Alright. I want to tab F8. I'll release and pull away, and... There we go. There's the next one. Alright, cargo container, we're going to tab F8 new. Get you out of the way. Oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. There we go, that unbunched them. Wait for you to clear it and we'll... We will... Try it again. Except I don't want to be in here. Where's that little... There we go. I knew I kept this ship around for a reason. To quickly hop around. Alright. Now that I've messed everything up and unmessed it again, and see this row's full now. Haha! <laughs> now, if I when I press this release button, it triggers. And if I press it again before this one comes all the way around, I may get a little time so I don't get another bunch up. But if I press this button again, it used to turn this one off because I had it wired directly to this flip-flop. Now I have it to this circuit that'll check it first. And it keeps the ons on, or the opens open, so now I don't have all this weird stuff going on. Give you a little more time. You hit it. Uh, you know what? I should probably actually move you down some. Are not connected to anything. And, uh, you there, get rid of you. Okay. And that works. I'm amazed. Alright. So let's look at everything so far. I have this, which is non functional for the moment. Well, it is functional, but it doesn't. Like, you get it. Uh, it's a, my input controller. Controls this rail speed controller, which controls that rail. Alright. And so it goes through. This checks to see if this last spot's open or closed. If it's open, it'll allow things to move through. If it's closed, it'll reroute them down, which right now goes into this infinite loop here. Uh, you go down here. This button will check to see. First of all, we'll go through this circuit, which checks to see if the one before it's empty or not. And if it is empty, it doesn't do anything and allows this to keep going. If it's not empty, like it's not now, it will go through this circuit, which turns on and off this rail speed controller, based on whether or not the one before it's empty. When this one leaves its spot, right now I'm just using that automatic toggle this uh, flip-flop here, it'll trigger this, which triggers this, which tells all these slots to check to see whether you were green or red, and if you were red, switch you to green. If you're green, don't worry about it. And so far, that's it. So far. Um, and it works more or less. Why do I have multiple? Oh, I should have multiple. And see where it goes weird like that? That's where it wires cross into each other, and that's okay for right now. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's not okay. I'm hitting C instead of E. Be mindful of which key you're pressing, C or V. All right. That was not as difficult as I thought it would be. Very good. I just need to duplicate this whole setup again down here. Uh, where are you? A pirate? I thought I turned spawning off. Hmm, that's not good. Uh, let's try... Destroy... 
entity entity one. Did you mean destroy? Isn't that what I typed? D S T. Oh, it helps if you spell destroy right. There we go. You don't need no pirates coming up and bothering us, except it was a buoy, uh, which was a thing I built with no weapons, so try not worry, bother me. Uh, I guess if you're in ad, uh, if you have admin controls, if you want to get rid of something, you select it, enter, then destroy underscore entity, well slash destroy underscore entity. All right, I think that's going to do it for today. It's not as long as they have been, but you need a reprieve. Alright, I've been GW608, and this has been StarMade, and I will dig you cats later.